shy. You're making me shy because you're being so shy. You weren't like this before. You want me to figure skate on land. You might have found the one thing that shuts me up. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was thinking we could start as sprouts on the ground, growing up into tall, beautiful plants. I did that in my third grade ballet recital, and it went over really well. Show me. I can change Charlie. Why? He's engaging in conversation that doesn't revolve around a complaint. He's making eye contact. He finally seems like a real person. We'll have to disagree on that. There's nothing real in here. It's all platitudes, no deeper than the insights of the average romantic comedy. People like romantic comedies. Yeah, delusional women who think that Colin Firth will love them and their five cats equally. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Charlie. There's something right with Charlie that's terribly wrong. It is all about death, then you might want my expert opinion on the matter. Because for my entire conscious life, I have been, like, preparing to die. Or thinking about it. Or talking about it. Or staring it back in his asshole eyes, because if I didn't, I would just quit. So, it's not this weird, awful thing. It's just this thing that happens every day. Get over it. I don't really know what I'm saying. You said that this stupid poem would make you, like, not afraid of stuff. You said that. So don't listen to me. But listen to yourself or shut up about it. How did you decide to become a priest? You don't decide. It's a calling. God calls you. It's a voice that you hear that isn't your own. Seriously? Yes. Like, literally a voice. Well, I guess not literally a voice. Okay, because that'd be kind of crazy, right? Don't you think? <laughs> Some people hear voices. Some people are in loony bins. Some saints heard voices. That. <laughs> no.